Hi, I'm Andy Peebler, Head of Strategy for B2B Commerce here at Salesforce, and I'm here today to share with you my top three predictions for B2B Commerce in 2021. Number one, B2B Commerce will be the top investment area for most B2B brands and companies this year. Um, that's really amazing, actually. For those of us who've been in B2B Commerce for a while, we remember that B2B Commerce is still relatively new. In fact, it just started showing up as a category followed by analysts. Uh, eight or nine years ago in, in 2012 when Forrester began the B2B commerce wave. And it's steadily inched up in prioritization. Many companies have embraced digital transformation ahead of this. But the pandemic, I think, has really brought into focus the need for companies to have not just great digital self-service, but digital service that's connected to salespeople and the service people and your customers um, so that everything works great together. And so this year, we're going to see that really at the top of everyone's priority going forward. Number two. I think the other thing that we're going to see this year is the death really formally of sort of traditional legacy monolithic one size fits all B2B platforms. Um, you know, one of the major learnings certainly that I've taken out of the pandemic and most of our customers have seen as well is that every industry and even sectors within industry segments in B2B are pretty unique in terms of how they approach their channel, how they're taking advantage of their own sales reps or other um, contract sales reps in some cases, service reps, partners who are oftentimes doing a lot of very hard work selling your products and services to end customers. Each industry sector is a little bit different. Each of these segments need to behave a little bit different. And so I think you all have the right and reason to expect unique commerce capabilities to your sector and industry, especially when it comes time to connecting the other parts of your ecosystem. Commerce cannot function anymore as a silo. It really has to be connected to your sellers and all of your channel partners in order to drive the kind of transformation you need. And I think that's gonna drive really different commerce platform types of selection choices in the coming years because people are seeing it. And again, there's so much innovation out there in the market that you can take advantage of that's really pre-built and packaged for your unique industry challenges. And, and that takes advantage of all of your channel segments, which is just great. And then now third, and finally, I think the other big thing that we're going to see this year, which is also kind of new and, and will be troubling for some, but I, I think a, a reward for others, in that this is the year that you're really going to start to see impacts on the talent side, especially amongst the top account leaders, uh, even heads of sales territories. Frankly, there are enough sales professionals out there in the world who have worked at companies now that do B2B commerce well and have connected ecosystems that... You know, we just don't see those kinds of individuals going back and, and, and working at places that don't have either really great digital tooling and connectivity today or are planning on implementing it right away. So look out for that. Um, and for these and, and really more kind of great predictions all over various industries on what's happening in commerce in 2021, please check out our new State of Commerce report that's available at sfdc.co slash state of commerce. Thank you.